Teacher one wants to establish the reliability of his test in science. Which of the following should he do? The answer is 1, 2, and 4. He either has to do administer a parallel test, split the test, or administer the same test twice. 1, 2, and 4 are methods of establishing reliability. Number 32. In a normal distribution curve, what does a t-score of 60 mean? Again, uh, the answer here is one standard deviation above the mean. So a t-score is another type of standard score where the mean is 50 and standard deviation is 10. Therefore, if you have a t-score of 60, that means uh, if the mean is equal to 50 and the standard deviation is 10, that means a score of 60 is one standard deviation above the mean. Number 33. In which subject are the scores most homogeneous? The answer here is A. Mathematics. To determine uh, the homogeneity of scores in a group or subject, we have to use the coefficient of variation. So it shows the variation relative to the mean. Coefficient of variation is used to compare the homogeneity of two or more groups of distribution of scores. The lower the CV or the coefficient of variation indicates more homogeneous distribution. So this can be computed by dividing the standard deviation by the mean. So computing for the uh, coefficient of variation in mathematics, we have uh, Standard deviation of 7 divided by the mean of 78 gives us 0 0.09. For English, that is 8 divided by 80, which gives us 0 0.1. For social studies, we have 9 divided by 90, which gives us also 0 0.1. And for science, this, the coefficient of variation is equivalent to 10 divided by 88, which is 0.1. So, since uh, the coefficient of variation is lowest in mathematics, which is equivalent to 0 0.09, that means the, the scores in mathematics is the most homogeneous among the subject. 34. In which subject did Angelo perform most poorly in relation to the group's mean performance? The answer is mathematics. For this case, we have to use the Z-score. Z-scores is used to convert a row score to standard score to determine how far a row score lies from the mean in standard deviation units. This enables us to compare an individual performance to the performance of the whole class. So to compute for the Z score, we have to use the formula score minus the mean divided by standard deviation. So for Angelo's score in mathematics, the Z score is 75 minus 78 divided by 7. This gives us negative 3 over 7 or negative 0.43. For English, the Z score is 82 minus 80 divided by 8, which gives us uh, 0.25. For social studies, the Z score is 89 minus 90 divided by 9 gives us negative 0.1. And for science, we have 90 minus 88 divided by the standard deviation of 10, which gives us 0.4. The question is, in which subject did Angela performed most poorly. So, since the Z score in mathematics is negative 0.43, that means Angelo performed poorly in mathematics as compared to his performance in the other subjects. Number 35. Given a mean of 55 and a standard deviation of 8, what scores correspond to two standard deviations below and above the mean? 
the answer is 39 and 71. Again, we have to use the Z score. So the Z score is equal to the mean plus or minus N standard deviations. So given the mean of 55 and the standard deviation of 8, hence to get the a Z score of 2 standard deviation above the mean, you have to add 2 times 8 plus 55 gives you 71. To get the Z score uh, 2 standard deviation below the mean, so you have to subtract uh, 16 from 55, which gives you 39. Therefore, the answer is letter D. Number 36. Miss Cathy allowed the students to develop their own portfolio in their own style as long as they show all the non-negotiable evidences of learning. What principle in portfolio assessment explains this practice? The answer here is letter C, equity principle. We have uh, three principles in portfolio assessment, content principle, learning principle, and equity principle. So. Equity principle explains that portfolios should allow students to demonstrate the learning styles and multiple multiple intelligences. Therefore, the answer is equity principle. 37. How should the following steps in portfolio assessment be arranged logically? The answer is letter B. So, the first step is to set targets. Next is to collect the evidences, followed by selection of evidences that will be included in the portfolio, and then uh, after that, reflection on the evidences used in the portfolio, and finally, the rating of the portfolio. So the answer is letter B. 38. Quartal deviation is to median and mean is to blank. The answer is letter A, standard deviation. Quartal deviation and median are statistical measures used to describe data that are not normally distributed. If the data follows a normal distribution, the mean and standard deviation are usually used. Number 39. What is the meaning of TOS? in the parlance of test construction? The answer is table of specifications. A table of specifications or TOS is a tool used to ensure that a test or assessment measures the content and thinking skills that the test intends to measure. Number 40. Which statement is not a good practice for recitation? The answer is letter. D. It is always better to pose the question to the whole class before calling on someone to recite to give them enough time to think of their response.